Hey peeps, welcome back to Groove Mechanics Techno Tricks. With this particular track, I'm kind of going for quite a deep uh, atmospheric techno track. So the next sound that I kind of wanted to add was a very soft, smooth, melodic lead type sound. So this sound is kind of doing like a background ambient drone type thing. And for this next sound, I'm going to use Wavetable to get a modulating lead pad type sound that I'm going to play the kind of melody of the track with. And I'm also going to show you a little trick that I like to do with Echo. So let's get started. I'm just going to drop in a Wavetable. And I'm also going to drop in a MIDI effect because our track is in E minor. I'm just going to select that. Now, that on its own sounds kind of boring. The beauty of Wavetable is that you can morph through different wave shapes, which sounds cool. And what I'm going to do is I want to be quite subtle with it. So rather than having this kind of these Wavetables that I'm morphing through, I'm going to pick something that doesn't change so much that just adds a little bit of variation so something like that and the sub oscillator I'm going to keep the same octave so it's basically just layering um, two oscillators the same pitch with each other and this tone knob um, increases the amount of harmonics that this sub oscillator has so That there is good. Now let's get some movement happening on this. To do that, we just go over to LFO. And um, one thing I've noticed with Wavetable is that when you have modulation amounts around 100%, it's overbearing, it's a bit too much. So when you are doing modulation in Wavetable, um, it helps to keep things around the 50% mark, especially to, to start off with, and then you can add more modulation later. So I'm just going to dial that back to 50% and maybe slow it down a bit. And when we go over to our mod matrix, I can turn up the, so we want oscillator one position and LFO one. Just turn that up. And now when I play, We've got a nice bit of modulation happening on the wavetable of that oscillator. Cool. So now next thing, I'm just going to bring back the filter. Just to tone down some of those harmonics. And also going to change the envelope to make it start a bit softer. So let's go. Let's turn this peak down a little bit. So that's quite nice. That's about where I want it, I think. So quite simple with Wavetable. Just adds a nice subtle sound, but I'm going to get a little bit more character out of it by using Ableton's new echo effect. So the idea here is that I'm using echo uh, as it's kind of like a tape echo emulation. I'm going to use it more for the tape aspect than the echo aspect. So changing this to a time parameter and making it really fast. You don't hear too much difference. It's just running through a really short echo and it kind of sounds a little bit funky, um, a little bit thinner. But once I increase the feedback, it kind of rings out nicely. And once I add, oh, a bit too much feedback. Let's use the filters here. So I'm just gonna high pass that. Bring it up quite high. Cool. 
go and going to add a little bit of modulation to the time of um, the echo. Because it's so short, just adding a little bit of variation to that will kind of give it a bit of pitch wobble, and that's kind of what I'm after. So let's just bring that so a bit closer. So you hear the effect there. So we just want it on the delay. So it's almost like a chorusing effect. I'm just going to dial that back a bit. And make it 100% wet. And let's also um, add some character. So wobble, which again just kind of modulates a lot of the parameters to just add a little bit more of an organic feel to this effect. Now, another thing I really like about Echo is that um, this reverb that's built in sounds fantastic. So I'm just going to crank that as well. So no reverb and then with reverb. So that's sounding kind of cool and interesting. It's a very subtle, soft sound and just that, you know, those small modulations which give it a little bit of character, which is what I'm after. And now just to push the sound back even further in the mix, I'm going to add more reverb. And let's crank the decay. Beautiful, that's what we're after. Beautiful. So just a nice subtle sound that's in there that I can use to uh, build up and create variation in the track. It's very easy to create variation when you're using musicality. Just playing different notes, different octaves can change up the track quite a bit. So yeah. Now I might, just before we finish, I might just add a little bit of EQ for mixing purposes.
Beautiful, and that's our sound. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you next time.